We are back at the NBC Sports Studio here at Levi Stadium. Lincoln of Stockton and Sheldon make it to the Division I finale. We saw the Trojans knock off Folsom in the semifinal game earlier in the show. Peja Gould pitching a shutout in that game. The Ace will now step back on the mound facing the top dogs. Sheldon is the one seed and rides a 10 game winning streak heading into Saturday's final game. San Jose State commit Reina Zermano is batting 521 with six homers. We scour the section for the perfect match on the field, just like Mattress Firm helps you find a mattress that is your perfect match. Sheldon and Lincoln in this week's Mattress Firm Perfect Match. Parker at Sac City Saturday for the D1 softball section title game. Brianna Romero in the circle for the Huskies. Peja Gould pitching for the Trojans and in the first. Peja gets Sheldon to pop to left. That ball's coming over towards me. Jordan Hayes thankfully is there. My hero. Nice catch. Then to end the first, Peja Gould strikes out Deanna Johnson and Lincoln off to a good start. Sheldon responded though. In the second, Sakura Coco Harvell gets a major hold of this one. Deep to left field and that one's out of here. The solo shot gives the Huskies the lead. One to nothing and they weren't done there. Later in the inning, Jazzy finds at the plate. She slaps one in the gap way over the outfield to the fence and another run scores as Fines slides into third. Then it's time for Dakota Kennedy to work her magic. Already 11 home runs on the season. She drills it to left field for the two-run homer and Sheldon is suddenly up four to nothing. To the top of the fourth we go. Justice Rubadella at the dish. She makes good contact, but don't forget that Beja Allen is out there and left. What a play. So nice, you have to see it twice. Take a look again. Nice play, Beja. We jump to the fifth. Mia Pamplona, the freshman, goes deep. That left field fence was busy Saturday afternoon. Lincoln gets on the board 4-1 to one as Sheldon still leads. The Huskies wouldn't back down, though. Looking for a record ninth section title. Another home run would help that cause. From who else? Dakota once more. Her second of the day is a solo shot, and Sheldon goes up 5-1. to one. In the sixth, Huskies trying to close this one out. Peja at the plate, and the ball looks like it'll drop, but nice play by Amani Black. The heads-up throw, and that's a double play, which means it all comes down to the final three outs, and Brianna came up clutch, striking out three of the final four batters and ending the game with a strikeout to seal the deal as Sheldon sits atop the D1 bracket behind seven strikeouts in seven innings from Bree. Let's hear from those Rowdy Huskies after their ninth section title. The team formerly known as the Sheldon Huskies, now known D1 champs. <laughs> All right, we'll start with Coco. She was the first to get on the scoreboard with that solo home run. What did that feel like rounding those bases? Um, it felt really good just to know that we had that first run of the game and that we could build off that. All right, yeah. we head over, to, head over to Dakota. Let's uh, let's bring up this squid up here. Uh, <laughs> Dakota got the chance to wear the squid twice in this game. Uh, what, what does that mean? What does the squid mean for you? It's our rally high. It's for our home runs, just giving us energy for maybe some more home runs. <laughs> <laughs> they had plenty of them today. Uh, you guys had that big four, four run inning. Uh, what was the catalyst for that? I think it was Coco starting it and then us just feeding off of her and just keep going and playing our game. Bree on the mound. She had a great day herself and held it down for the Huskies. How far can the Sheldon team go in NorCal's? Very far. We're going all the way. Yeah! They got the confidence, but they're going to have to show out one more time. Come on, guys. Let them hear it. Woo! 